Hey guys, Mitch here. Apple has seeded Beta 2 in its latest iOS 7 firmware, so let's go ahead here and take a look at iOS 7 Beta 2's features. First off, there's been new Siri voices, so if you head under your settings, go your general and Siri, you'll see a voice gender which you can choose between male and a female voice. So this was not included in the Beta 1, but now the male voice is included. So if you want to go ahead and test out the Siri functionality here, if you want to ask it, hi. Hi. You can listen to the new voice or ask what the weather is. What is the weather So if I ask what the weather today? is, you can hear his response. Here's the forecast for today. So it's just a nice added gesture of those different voices, male and female. Up next, voice memo. Now, voice memo was not included in beta 1, but with, the, but with beta 2, it has been included. You have a nice layout of it in a red circle to start your recording. If you hit the red circle again, it will pause your recording, and then you can click on it to continue and just hit done. When you are finished, your voice memo, you can create a name for it and it will be saved beneath that where then you can click on it and you have some options of playing it you can scrub the little cursor back and forth you can share it you can edit it or you can delete the voice memo directly from it beta 2 also added lock screen and music control so while you are listening to a song and you go ahead and lock your device displayed at the top of your screen will be all your music controls so you have your volume sliders to increase or decrease your volume you have your play slash pause the name of the track and then above that what time spot you are in the current track and this is the same concept for a timer the timer and the seconds will be displayed underneath the clock to see how much time you have left for cooking for instance in addition Apple has also provided us with some nice new wallpapers so if you head over to the settings and go into your Apple wallpapers you see we have our basic Apple wallpapers that came with iOS 6 but then you also have this new Galaxy wallpaper that you can add to the background and in addition you also have your dynamic backgrounds which allow you to move throughout your device as you tilt your device. Within the messages for iOS 7 the keyboard elements have also been changed to kind of fit the overlay perspective of it. I like the new balance of it and now the scent animation now fully works so we'll start from the bottom of the keyboard and then continually go up through it and then be sent as an iMessage or as a text message. In addition, Apple has also provided us with timestamps of when we have sent our messages. So we have our basic ones of our 30 minutes or hourly updates, but if you scroll over from the right and go to the left, you now have more precise timestamps of when you did send out messages. I like this new feature and I wish it would stay there forever to see what time you actually did send a message or got a message received. In your photos albums, now when you delete a photo from any of your album, it now will show a nice fading out animation. Within beta 1, it kind of just disappeared and the photos there really look smooth, but now it will show the next image in your album as you delete the first one overlaying it. Overall, iOS 7 Beta 2 is just faster, slicker, everything about its pull downs from its control centers, its notification centers, multitasking are just way more smoother. It's integrated Siri and the spotlight search is much more easier to control and use on your device. Now as we get more betas in the near future leading up to the final release of iOS 7 in the fall, you can uh, assume that Apple will make these adjustments throughout the different betas so everything from the control center, the icons, the designs will fit to match everything about the new iOS 7 and the faster and slicker and everything about iOS 7 will seem to be there. So let me know what you guys think about iOS 7 beta 2 in the comment section below and I'll be sure to leave you guys with other videos and betas in the near future. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you all in the next one.